What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. Today we're talking about jailbreak detection bypass. Yes, that very, very annoying thing that pops up every time you try to open an application and you just get greeted by this. Your device is jailbroken, you cannot use the application, we don't let jailbroken devices in and stuff like that. You can see this kind of alert cannot be closed, there is no cancel button, there is no X. This is just a nag screen that blocks you from using the application. And what exactly is the point of that? Well, many applications use it for many reasons, we're going to get into that, but before that, this video is brought to you by Wondershare. They currently have a 20% off for the mobile trans. It's a Mother's Day sale, but you can also win a $100 gift card by participating in their contest where you just have to share photos transferred with the mobile trans. There's also a free version available. And of course, you get a chance to win. Definitely check it out. It's a great product and they do have a free version available. So definitely check it out in the link below. So as you can see, I have multiple applications in here and many of them have indeed jailbreak detection and some people even told me that McDonald's has jailbreak detection in the United States and you cannot use the application if you are jailbroken. That is completely absurd because an application like McDonald's for example would have nothing to hide. So over the years there have been multiple applications released for example vNode bypass which you can enable or disable and so on. There has been a bypass, there has been FlyGBX which is another one in here. There is Choicey created by OPA334 which is very useful because you can disable tweak injection into various applications. There is current bypass. There is actually quite a lot of them. The reason is that many of them don't work for all the applications. For example, this application you can see here with this pop-up, I have created myself in Xcode. So as you can see, I have created this small program in here. It's really nothing. It's just a very small program that detects whether CDI is installed or Bash is available or Apt is available and so on. Really basic jailbreak detection, but believe it or not, many applications do use components like this in their jailbreak detection. However, it can be hard to bypass even this because if the application can see the file, well, it's game over. It knows that you are jailbroken. So let's see exactly what it can do about it. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple application, very, very basic checks. However, none of the current methods that exist would prevent that application from being able to just find out that I am jailbroken. Trust me, I tried all of them. While many of them like FlyGB or VNode Bypass or even Choicey would definitely be able to bypass the jailbreak detection on way more advanced applications created by teams of engineers. The reason for that is that the implementation for jailbreak detection is not always the same. What I did in this application can indeed be used on a real application for some basic jailbreak detection, but many applications would do much, much more elaborate detections. So what can you do? Well, in this case, what can you do is to try all of them and see which one works for the application that you need. In case of the FlyGBX, this one allows you to set a bypass list here and you can toggle on and off the applications you don't want to have access to the rest of the system. You have the disable list, which basically would disable all tweaks, including FlyGB for a specific application, kind of like Choicey. Then you have an optimized list and so one. And of course, this one even has on-demand patches available. You can check for updates, get the latest patches and so on. So it's a nice one. It's very well made. And of course, it comes as an application. It does support iOS 14, no problem. However, there is a problem. Not all applications work with it. And you're going to see this theme repeat with every single one of these products because jailbreak detection is implemented in so many ways across multiple iOS applications that it's impossible to have a solution that works for all of them unless you do do it properly at kernel level and at very very low level. And that's exactly what Coolstar is trying to do with LibHooker Pro which will be released in the future. But until LibHooker Pro, which will indeed be a paid tweak, gets released, we're basically stuck with multiple options like vNode Bypass, FlyGB, Choicey and of course a Bypass and so on. There's also Liberty Light and many many others. The idea is that there are a lot of them and a lot of them can be customized like this one in here where you can select which application you want to bypass by toggling them on. Of course, you can go ahead in here and enable or disable hooks. You can go ahead and enable or disable various things, but at the end of the day, many applications will continue to say that you are jailbroken, even though you use a jailbreak 
bypass or they would straight out crash like this one in here. The reason is pretty obvious. The jailbreak detection is done in multiple ways. So jailbreak detection bypass is usually done per application, of course, with different tools created for specific apps. So universal methods don't really exist. Some of them work more universally than others, but there is no such tool that will work for all applications in the world. There's going to always be that one application that either crashes or it just tells you that you are jailbroken no matter what tools you use or how many. However, that doesn't mean that those tools do not work. They may work for your application, they may not. You have to try all of them and find out which works for you. So how do you find them? Well, two of them can be found on the Sour Chili Sauce repo, which is repo.xsf1re. KR. That's hell of a mouthful of a word. I'm going to put it in the description down below, but after that, you're going to be able to find here Vnode Bypass, which is this one, which you can install. And here you can also find another one called FlyGBX. Basically, both of them do the same thing, but in a very different way in order to hide the jailbreak files for bypassing the jailbreak detection. Unfortunately, both of them would not work for some applications. So if you find out that your banking application or whatever application you're trying to use doesn't work, the next one from the Marona repo contains here another one which is pretty important and that is the A bypass, this one here. This one is also very popular with people. They say that it works for them and that for many applications it would indeed work. It supports Odyssey, it supports Uncover and so on. So it's actually great. However, there is a problem with this one as well. This one also will work for some applications. You have to try it out. You have to see which one works for your case. Now, before we continue, a little bit of a word about this. Do not try to do jailbreak detection where you have accounts where you wouldn't want them banned. Like it was a case with Fortnite, but we no longer have Fortnite anymore here. PUBG and other things. Don't risk your account. If they do have jailbreak detection, try to not bypass it because you may be able to bypass a jailbreak detection, but they might detect it in a future update and of course ban you. So try not to do this kind of things with accounts that are worth something and you don't want to lose them. There is always a possibility that the jailbreak detection bypass would fail and you would get caught. So another one that you can get is Choicey by Opa334. Another one that is actually quite great. You go ahead in here, you select the applications you want to, you know, completely bypass tweak injection and of course it would work great, but that would only work for jailbreak detection if they only detect tweak injection. If they detect files, this one would not work. As you can see, there are multiple options. I'm going to list them in the video here, all of them that I know of. And I even asked you on Twitter, which one is your favorite so that I can include it in this video here. But as you can see, there are multiple options because none of them is completely universal and none of them work for all applications. You may have to try each one out, hopefully one by one, not all of them at once, because your applications will basically crash and you're going to see which one works for you. Unfortunately, there is a chance that there may be nothing that works for your application, for your banking app or for your game and so on. And in that case, you have to wait for LibHooker Pro. But until then, definitely try them out. Many of them actually work pretty fine. And when they do, they do a fantastic job, but you do have to try them out. There is no universal solution. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.